every time you make an action, any, anything with action, you're surrounded by men. What I love about this is it's all women kicking ass. Uh, can you sort of talk about that aspect? And is that one of the things that want, excited you about the movie? Uh, yeah, it was the thing that excited me about the film was that, you know, not only are there, you know, six women, um, majority of them are kind of over 45, which is fabulous. <laughs> Uh, I loved in the third act, there is a slow motion tracking shot that uh, involves a lot of you guys. I love that shot so much. Can you talk about uh, filming that and what that specific shot? Um, yes. I mean, that was heavily influenced by a Korean film we all know and love. Um, and we, we worked on that for, you know, a good couple of weeks just to time it all out because there were so many people involved and it was, as you say, it was one tracking shot. And also Navot had um, music uh, that he wanted. He knew what he wanted for most pieces. So it was a really specific rhythm for that piece. Um, but I love that. I think it turned out great. Yes, it is. I rewatched it yesterday and I was like, yes, this is a great shot. Um, yeah. Uh, I always love about learning the behind the scenes and the making of a movie. So what do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of this film? I mean, it's obvious when an actor isn't doing a fight. Uh, you know, there are some pieces that are kind of acrobatic. And um, unless you're an actor who has trained in the circus or uh, in stunts for 20 years, <clears throat> you're not going to be able to pull it off. But we all did most of our stuff as much as we possibly could. Uh, yeah, I did notice that. It also helps when you have Michelle in the movie. Uh, she's kind I of mean, talented. she is the goddess, the OG. She's incredible to watch. Yeah, I'm pretty much, if you cast her in a movie, it's basically saying, I will watch. Yes. You know, it's, it's pretty much like that. So you've gotten to voice Evil Lynn a few times, yeah. and you're also doing it with uh, Kevin Smith's upcoming Masters of the Universe. Uh, what do you love about voicing Evil Lynn and what can you tease people about this upcoming Masters of the Universe? Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually going in tomorrow to kind of do the final pickups. Um, but listen, Kevin Smith is a dreamboat and uh, I always enjoy projects uh, where the director is so invested and so passionate and you can only be inspired by that. And Kevin is like that about this series. He loves it. Um, and so you're going to get a huge chunk of Evil Lynn's backstory, which is kind of impressive. I saw the first episode actually already, and I was surprised at how fast it moves. It yeah. is fast. Yeah. Without giving spoilers. Um, so the other thing is you're doing White House Plumbers, which is... Yeah. Uh, I, a series I'm really looking forward to. What can you tease about that? See, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, <laughs> what I can say is that I've, it's, you know, rare that you read a script that you just um, devour, but this is such a smart, funny um, piece of writing that it's it's just really wonderful to be able to just play around with writing like that and also you know I'm working with Woody Harrelson who is you know Woody Harrelson what else are you going to say well I um, actually I, I want to do a follow-up on that I've seen Woody work on set and what's interesting about Woody is every take that I saw was slightly different like he's always in the moment is that the way he's doing it in when you're working with him yeah totally Woody's like totally free uh likes to give you a song a bit like karen gillam before a tape um yeah he's 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 awesome he's just usually barefoot and uh just playing around right yeah i've, I've seen this he's great I, I gotta stop there i'm just gonna say congrats on this thank you so much for giving me your time thank you <laughs>